And Tyler absolutely agree with you, buddy. Hey, and what's up to you, my friend? Uh, he says, you may have mentioned it. Well, he says, what's up, blues? What's up, dude? Uh, you may have mentioned it, but one positive from this game, Christopher Morrell, the man has s- delivered s- several quality app ads. I can't read today. In clutch situations so far, love to see it. Tyler, I absolutely agree, my friend. That that, that is spot on because he is such an electric factory. And I think this is this is a great thought, a good positive thought to wrap up this White Sox series on because Morrell delivered, right? We said it on Saturday. He he played that effective as a leadoff guy, what do you want out of a leadoff guy? You want a guy that gets on base, and he did that in that win, and that 5-1 win on Saturday, has a hit and two walks, scores a run. I mean, that's 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 perfect production out of a guy that is your leadoff hitter. And then they got production out of guys in the middle of the lineup. Wisdom and Schwindel both with two RBIs. Horner had three hits in the seventh spot. Even Andrelton Simmons had an RBI in that game. So that's just indicative of how the bats were hitting. Uh, and then even today. Morell still coming through in the clutch. Sure. Yes, he he was ultimately one for six on the day with two strikeouts. But guess what? He continues to put together quality at bats, which is absolutely actually it's mind boggling because this kid was just at double A. And I know that everybody's like, well, yeah, he like skipped triple A. That's incredible. Usually you get a pretty good idea of how good a baseball player is once they get to double A. Double A is like that biggest step, right? Like think about it in like a corporate structure for anybody that works in a corporate world. You'll understand this, this analogy or even really in any job, right? The, the, the hardest promotion to get is from like a quote unquote worker B to a manager, in a baseball player's case, it's typically, and again, this is like the general belief and rule of thumb is the biggest jump is from high A to double A. And if a guy can really succeed at double A, they usually can succeed still at triple A. And I think we're seeing that with guys like Caleb Killian. Uh, we saw that with Nelson Velasquez, where he started out cold for the Iowa Cubs when he got called up. I think it was an 0 for 14 streak. Um, Elise Meneker said on the broadcast today via Alex Cohen. Um, but he's been really good since then. He's been hitting the ball a lot better. He he looks like a guy that's ready for a big league chance. And it's just, it's cool seeing these guys do this, but like Morel coming up from double a and literally today was the first day he finally uh, dipped his average below 300. He has been so good, but Tyler, like you said, he, he comes in, in the clutch. We're starting to see this clutch gene with him. And I think a lot of people got used to that, with especially adding in the the theatrics right in 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 theory because everybody's kind of calling him like a baby bias right he's he plays like hobby plays plays with emotion he plays with fire he plays with passion and we love that as ba- as baseball fans i think baseball needs more guys like that for example seeing tim anderson get hurt in today's game that sucks because even as a cubs fan i love ta i think ta is a great player but ta is a great player for baseball He plays with passion. He plays with emotion. He has a good time. Like, he is a good, good, good player for the sport. I think Christopher Morell is also a good player for the sport. But Tyler, like you said, man, comes through in the clutch like that, has an electric opportunity to get the Cubs up to there and extras. He does. He delivers. Again, you might look at the the box score and say he was only one for six, but it's that clutch gene of him coming through in the situation they did, like you said, Tyler, that absolutely – it, you love to see it. You really do love to see it. You 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 finished that message off perfectly, my friend. You love to see it. A young guy having a lot of success at the big league level, really, I think, proving a lot of people wrong just in the sense that if you would have made bets of who was going to be the Cub first kind of prospect to come up and deliver, nobody was placing bets on Brandon Hughes and Christopher Morrell. Everybody was thinking, oh, Brennan Davis or Caleb Killian, right? But that just shows you how deep this system is. These are guys that the common Cubs fan probably hasn't heard of that are coming up and making a big impact. 